Once it returns, a dragon will be carrying with it to Earth 3,563 pounds of science samples, crew supplies, vehicle hardware, and spacewalk equipment. All this will be returned uh, to Earth inside the Dragon. The Dragon is the only cargo vehicle currently capable of returning supplies and equipment to Earth. And so uh, the crew has been working over the past week to load it up with science samples that they have uh, been working on over the course of their time at the space station. Less than a minute left to go now in Dragon's time with the space station. The uh, Commander Steve Swanson, with the help of Flight Engineer Alexander Skortsaw, will be commanding the space station's robotic arm to release it in uh, less than a minute at 8.26 a.m. Central. Release command has been sent. Copy that. Nicely done. Space Station's robotic arm has uh, released the snares that have been holding it onto the SpaceX Dragon and uh, will now be moving away from the vehicle. It took place at 826 just as planned while the station was traveling 266 miles above uh, the, ocean, uh, the ocean south of Australia. View here from the cameras on board the Canada Arm 2 as it moves slowly away from the SpaceX Dragon in preparation uh, to get uh, some clearance between it and the vehicle before its 8.29 a.m. departure burn, the first of a set of three departure burns that will move it away from the space station. Robotic arm now four and a half meters or about 14.7 feet away from the Dragon. Houston, here comes the departure. Copy that. Have a nav light. It's moving away. And as you heard, Swanson. All right, Swanee, nicely done. Departure burn one is complete. Departure burn two in approximately one minute. Jack Fisher there, a Capcom here in the, the space station flight control room reporting up to Swanson that the first of the departure burns, three of, uh, three of them planned in all, has been completed on time. Next one just uh, less than a minute away now. Five seconds now until the second departure burn. And the team on the ground here reporting that the second of the three departure burns now also complete and uh, went as planned. Last one scheduled to take place at 8.38 a.m. Central Time. This again is moving it safely away from the International Space Station. By uh, just after 9 a.m. it'll be 3.7 miles away all of which gets it into uh, into position and on track for its deorbit burn at 1.08 p.m. Central. And that will lead to its splashdown in the Pacific Ocean, uh, 300 miles west of Baja, California, at 2.02 p.m. Central Time. 30 seconds now to the uh, final de departure burn for the SpaceX Dragon to move it away from the International Space Station.
And the final departure burn, departure burn three for SpaceX Dragon now complete. You can see it here moving away from the space station, the red uh, light with the dot, uh, with the blinking white light. It looks like we just saw departure burn number three. You bet, 20. Departure burn three is complete. The Dragon is outside the keep out sphere, and you're go to perform SSRMS safing step five in 39, 414.